Hey, welcome back to the end of the world zombie apocalypse. My name is Lawrence. And I am down to my last chocolate chip cookie, William. Oh, that's too, oh, that's man, too that bad, man. Apocalypse! It's right out. <laughs> it's the real end of the world right there. Yeah. It really is. Wow. Apocalypse! <laughs> <laughs> And this is substandard role playing, and we have Casey. I am Casey from the Questing GM. And Dave. Hello, I am uh, Tired A Taurus from Twitch TV. Yeah, he feels like at the end of the world. <laughs> uh, I'm so tired. Well, I just like to say, as a PSA, I think time zones are ruining us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. We need to get rid of time zones. <laughs> that's what we that's should the, do. I'm telling you, they that's the problem, in, man. It turn you into zombies, that's for sure. <laughs> I right. Segway. <laughs> okay. Well, those motivational YouTube videos, so they were like, "Get out of bed at five in the morning and do 500 push-ups." Yeah. There's a zombie <laughs> outside your door right now. <laughs> Time to get up. <laughs> exactly. All right. I'm gonna just my camera's gonna disappear for a second. I apologize, but I'll be back. Don't worry. I'm still here. He's putting on pants. He's putting on pants or taking off shirts. Either way, something's happening. <laughs> Either way, I'm all for it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Dave. Turn on the camera. I dare you. <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing that. Don't worry. I'm just I'm filtering it through OBS so I can get rid of some of this. I can add some contrast. I'm also to, actually uh... in a really awkward situation, and I need to be, need to be back in a second. What? I can't turn off my underfloor heating, but I have to open up a window because it's like hot, but it will be too cold if I turn it off. Oh, you guys are killing me. Hold uh, on. We'll be fine. And we're back. Okay, let's get this game started, yeah? Yeah. Sure. Okay, excellent. So, um, yeah, as I was mentioning, we are playing uh, The End of the World Zombie Apocalypse by Fantasy Flight Games. Um... As you can see, uh, this game requires two sets of D6s, and we have our positive dice, which are blue, and our negative dice, which are red. You guys are already playing around with those dice. <laughs> but it don't matter. Let's get started, shall we? Here we go. Okay. So um, we're playing ourselves. Basically, Dave's made a, uh, an avatar of himself, so is KC, and so is William. Guys, it is January 9th, 2020. Um, it was on this day that the four of us f had finally managed to schedule some time to get together. After years apart in other countries, working jobs and going to grad schools, uh, the four of us, old-time university buddies, finally made good on our promise to finally get together and play some old-school 3rd edition D&D. Uh, <laughs> so, old school. My, yes, my old school. Five. My immersion is ruined. <laughs> good ah, old, nice. No, no, no. Good old, good old three. Yeah, good third three. edition is where it's at. Anyway, <laughs> I know that lots old. of people will disagree with that one, but you know, I grew up on we third lost edition. The OSR crowd now. <laughs> yeah, well, fifth is the devil. Yeah. Uh, at three o'clock, William and Casey finally arrive at Dave's condo in Toronto. Uh, they had walked from their hotel downtown, um, fully expecting to spend about nine hours, possibly even pulling an all-nighter if the game went well. Uh, Dave, you had already stocked up on food, snacks, and Mountain Dew at your condo. However, I was uncharacteristically late. Um, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> at around 3.10 your cell phone starts to ring um do i recognize the number it's from yeah, me got, he's got it on private don't answer <laughs> it's, it's, it's from you yeah it's from me i'm calling I you it to i sent it to voicemail <laughs> that is shockingly realistic. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> it's, it's called. And a I did. What? Wait. Somehow, Ataris has become disconnected from this game. I don't understand. You're kicked. Um, <laughs> He's not I even in pick... the Discord list anymore. I'll uh, I'll answer the phone. I'll answer the phone and be like, "You've reached Ataris." 
please leave a message after this. Which is makes which is funny because I didn't a tourist didn't exist then. But no, nope. no, I'll pick up the phone and be like, hey, what's up? Yo, man. Um, hold on a second. And you basically hear me in a van driving, right? And in mm. the background, you actually hear the radio on my car. And it's slightly in the background, basically. It's a distant voice, but this is what it says. There have been reports of assault and battery in the Eaton Center today. Police officers were called at 2 o'clock to the Eaton Center to respond to a man who inexplicably assaulted a passerby. Reports indicate that the victim was bleeding profusely from his arms and legs. Nearby citizens were able to hold the assailant down until the police arrived on the scene. The police have identified the man as one Walter Richkey, a businessman who recently came back from a business trip to China. The victim was taken to Toronto General Hospital. 680 News, the time is 3.15, and that's what you hear in the background while you hear basically me in my van honking the horn, trying to get traffic to keep going, and then I come back onto the cell phone and say, hey Dave, um, what up? I'm still on the DVP, man. I'm gonna try why to would get you take to. The DVP? <laughs> Sorry. Why, why would you take the DVP? That's never the right move, man. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that there would be so many people going into Toronto today. There's. It Are you new? Like, what? It's been a long time since I've been <laughs> well, that, in Toronto. I've I mean, been in Korea enough. for like years, man. Anyway, <laughs> I'm still on the DVP. I'm trying to get to your place. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna get off the York Street exit, but cool. I think it's gonna take some time. You guys should actually just start the um, start the game without me. You can backpack me until I get okay. there. Cool. Side note: I actually moved four years ago, so I'm no longer downtown. I'm just this is an alternate universe. You're still <laughs> downtown here. No, I'm just letting you know. I'm this is in game. I'm telling you this. I'm fucking with you. You bastards. <laughs> you want realism. You got realism. Um, okay. Yeah. All right, man. Well, take it easy. Um, yeah, just find a place to park when you get here. Cool. Three hours later. I haven't arrived. <laughs> Three hours later. Uh, Dave has ordered a meat lover's stuffed crust pizza. And William... <gasps> Dang, was the the narrating detail. the events of how Casey's character was being run through by an orc that had rolled a natural 20 when your first sign that something has uh, just something's gone wrong has surfaced mm -hmm. and what you hear nice it wasn't a d20 <laughs> <laughs> as as like as call, William oh, is Dad. discussing <laughs> Discussing how basically the orc's frickin' great club smashes into Casey's torso, possibly killing Casey. At level uh, one. At level one. <laughs> and then this is good foreshadowing. A siren, hmm. a police siren actually, is screaming down, I believe it's Young Street, right? That was next to your condo? York, but close enough. Uh, York Street, fine. Uh, basically, a screaming siren comes down York Street, and then you hear the screech of tires as it sounds like the police car is trying to avoid something and then smashes into possibly the wall, possibly a, a light post. Who knows? But this is what you're hearing outside right now. It's okay, guys. It's just Saturday. It's fine. <laughs> but I, I'm going to want to rub a neck and, you know... Go check out the window and see what I can see. Okay. A police squad car actually has indeed skid into like a lamppost outside. And it does seem like he was doing his best to avoid a pedestrian on the street. From uh, Dave's condo is about, I believe, 10 floors up, right, Dave? 30, 32, but. You know who's counting. Ah, uh, fine. 32 floors up, but... I get good view, man. It was 10 from the top, actually. So maybe that's what you were thinking. No, no, no. Yeah, I didn't realize you were so high. Anyway, so... Where has he gone to? <laughs> Holy shit. He, he's gone to get higher. Hey. High, 32, uh, 32 floors high. And from this distance, all you see is basically the squad car, the post, and actually some very nice citizens... Running to yeah. the squad's car, I guess, oh. trying to help out. You just see uh, a convergence of people just running towards the squad car. So I'm going to turn back height. to Dave 
and say, a police car has crashed. Do we call the police or um, <laughs> who gets involved? I mean, I think if the call would just go down to the car, I kind of useless. Uh, no, I, I don't. Um, yeah, I guess so. I'll, uh, I'll pick up my phone, which is still plugged into the wall, charging at 100%. <laughs> sure, and, it is, uh, <laughs> sure it is, buddy. Sure it is, buddy. As bulges with my two extra battery packs at full capacity for my phone. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, that, you don't have that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> my pocket bulges, not with battery packs. Um, I Yeah, I'll pick up the phone. I'll pick up the phone and I'll dial 911, sure. And you basically continue. Yeah, there's no answer, basically. Eventually, if you, I guess, stick to it long enough, there will be an automated response that says, there are no operators that are available to come to the phone right now. Please try again. That seems, that seems like, that's like, that seems normal. Like if this is truly an emergency, press one. If this is actually an emergency, press two. <laughs> You don't you know, even get that. <laughs> How bad's the bleeding? Yeah. Um, if you can press one, you're fine. Um, okay. So I'll just be like, well, that's memeable. Uh, no <laughs> one's answering. Um, They're already on the case. So are we still in initiative? Should I roll now or what? No, no. Yes. No, there's dude, no, I'm there's no combat. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm talking about I'm in game, man. No, I'm okay. like, right. oh, well, I tried. Let's go back to the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. In game, in game. Yeah. <laughs> in so, game, in game. Yeah, so like game I'll, be, game. I'll yeah. be handing Casey the um, well, the handbook. Well, well yeah, we don't have we didn't, have we didn't have death saving trust. I think it was a D10. And yeah. if you roll like a zero, <laughs> you get to roll a D10 <laughs> of the game. Yeah, so roll, yeah, roll to see if you if your character is alive. <laughs> or... I, I tell you what, because yeah. Dave's still a poor college student, um, we don't have D10s. Roll two D6. <laughs> a, few... poor, a poor college student who owns a condo in Toronto. What is this? Come on. <laughs> That's where all your money went. You guys are. I mean, I bet you gotta at least take one vampire game. <laughs> All right. Um, so I mean, I guess to... at this point, at this at this at this point, I would kind of be, you know, out of the game. Yeah. <clears throat> realizing, wait, where the hell is Lawrence? Oh, now you, <laughs> now you're looking for me three hours later. Okay. Well, I mean, you were the one that you skipped time. You yeah, time but... warped three hours. Yeah. Like... Yep. <laughs> I had was just about... that interesting. The D and D about... game. <laughs> Well, I do get I do get absorbed into it. I mean, about half an hour into that three hours, I, you know, cried over your most likely death because uh, you weren't there. But yeah, I got you, over uh, it. You're a you backpack know. fudder. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, yeah. You the trap first. <laughs> but no, once oh, I once we kind of yeah. once I snapped out of it and we we dealt with the police thing, that's when I realized I'm like, holy god, man, it's been three hours. Yeah. Like, yeah. like cool. where's Lawrence? <laughs> okay. And as that thought occurs to you, um, you guys all, here's our first roll of the game. I'm going to make this <clears throat> a logic roll, I guess. Um, there's no real okay. perception in the game, right? So I'm going to say it's probably something mental. It's going to be offensive. So make a logic roll. You always start just... off with one positive dice. And for now, it's not going to cause any stress. So just roll one positive dice and get under your logic. I rolled a one. And I get timed out. Ah. Well, no. Ha oh. I rolled, a, I rolled a five. Yes. But my logic is five. That's, I think that's so enough. Does the tie go to me or is the tie going to... Is it, is it, is it the number the or under? You've drunk. Or... <laughs> Do you have I, to roll under or under? I think or equal? you have to. I think it's okay, like five or under. I believe. Usually, usually, that. yeah. In most games, yeah. At in least, most like, games, D &D it's five or stuff. under, right? Yeah, yeah. You usually, you just have to make it right. The so, tie, mm. the tie goes to the player usually. Yeah. Mm. So, while Casey is uh, basically lamenting the fact that his character is in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> Both Taffy and Dave hear faint sounds of screaming outside the balcony window. 
before a large explosion occurs in the distance that rocks you and and it's 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 big enough to send you hurtling to the floor basically that absolutely is worth investigating yeah um not cool bro yeah we're gonna have to take a look <clears throat> i'm gonna compliment taffy on his uh immersive environment and then uh <laughs> good job taffy <laughs> on narrating really, now now let's go really see what the uh, fireball outside world. is about so, yeah. really, i don't know how you i don't know how you managed to to get it to feel like the earthquake happened here but that's impressive <laughs> um yeah that's I've been told uh to make the ground shake <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just heard that <laughs> the earth, in my head. Man. The world moves every time I see you. It's okay. Um, I mean, I guess we'll. I'll go out to the balcony and look to see if I can see what 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 it was that exploded. Right. Okay. What's going on? Um, in the distance, there's a raging ball of fire. It's almost like someone actually laid down a fireball there. It's continuing <laughs> to burn. It's not actually going out is the thing. It looks like it could have been a gas station. Gas line? Yeah, okay. Um, well, somebody said, I don't care how big the gas station is, I cast Fireball, and there it is. Um, mm -hmm. hmm. Well, that's not good. I'll, pick, I'll try to dial 911 again. Are there more sirens? Surprisingly enough, there are, like... There's none headed in your direction. You can tell if like sirens come closer, right? They get louder, but although there's sounds, screaming now, definitely mm -hmm. everywhere, but uh, no, nothing actually coming in your direction, which is odd. Okay, yeah. well, I'm going to go and open the door into the hallway and see if anyone else is looking to see what's going on. Uh, when you open the door into the hallway... There is nobody actually, but when you went out into the balcony, there were some people who have opened their, um, you know, opened their balcony doors, doors and they were, yeah, sliding doors and they were, you know, looking outside. Um, your neighbor came out, took a peek and then went back in very quickly, probably to do the same thing that you're doing, like calling 911, seeing what the hell's going on. Okay. I'm going to give... I'm going to give it five minutes, and then once I'm pretty sure that everyone is now out on the balcony, like, looking to see what's happening, I'm going to sneak into their houses and steal all of their non-perishables. <laughs> okay. So no, 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 I won't act. Like Dave is opening the door. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I'm going to run over to the elevator and see if it's still working. Like we still have power at this point. You still right? have power at this point. There is electricity, and yes, the elevator does come up, bing, <clears> and opens the door, and there's nobody inside. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna pick up my phone and try to call down to um, concierge. Yep. And see if if I can if they know anything what's going on. I'm gonna ask them what's going on down there. If I can get through. If you can get through, which you cannot. The the phone right. just keeps continuing to ring. <clears throat> All right. Um, I guess I'll go back in and I'll be like, oh, okay, something something is going on, guys. I can't get the cops on the phone. I can't get concierge on the phone. Uh, while normally my suggestion would not be to go out into this, I don't know if we want to go down and uh, take a look and also not be 30 floors up in case something happens. Um, what do you guys want to do? Well, getting stuck 30 floors up in the fire would be the worst thing to happen. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, I don't know what's happening. We see fire over there. Something's blown up. Mm. Maybe, I mean, maybe terrorists? I don't know. I, I mean... Terrorists, attack, terrorists attacking Toronto? <laughs> yeah. The I most mean... peaceful city in the world <laughs> Terrorists? Don't you remember two thousand and one? We were on high alert as well. We were on high alert as well because we have the trade center. Although that's not that's a different direction. Um, it's probably not, but I mean, I don't know what it is. And the fact that I can't, we can't get through to the cops. Granted, everyone's probably calling with the fireball going on, but I don't know, guys. 
Either that or do you want to just roll up your new character? <laughs> While you're mentioning rolling up a new character, your phone does ring. So finally, someone is reaching out to you. I'll definitely yeah. pick up the phone. Do I, is there a number or no? Like, do we know uh, it's it my number. I'm calling you. Okay, I'll pick it up. Hey, I'm Dave, I finally uh... made it. I'm underneath your uh, condo right now in the parking space. I'm going to head on up. Okay, cool. Uh, did you see anything out there while you were driving in? Lots of people were just running by. It was kind of weird. I had to avoid hitting some people, but um, I managed to make <clears> it. Got yeah, off the uh, gardener. It's packed, actually, with cars and shit. It's like really, really moving inch by inch. But yeah, that's why it took so long. But I mean, your place is right off the gardener expressway. So yeah. Well, I'm glad you made it. Something, I don't know, something was going on down here. Some sort of like explosion over the, like a few blocks over. I saw some, some explosion of some sort. Um, okay. Yeah. Just, um, yeah, come on up, and uh, I mean, I guess it should be, you should be fine. Uh, just check the elevator. It seems to be working, um, but just be careful uh, in case there's a power outage or something. You might, you could take the stairs, but it'll be another three hours. Till you Dude, I'm not so... going to be taking the stairs for 32 <laughs> floors. Screw that All shit. Right. There's no just way. Just be careful. Just be careful. Eh? All right. I'll see you in a bit. And before you hang up, you can hear in the distance. Where's the Mountain Dew? <laughs> and then you hear, shit, is that Casey asking where the Mountain Dew? I thought you were supposed to get that shit. Yeah, I hit it because I know that once you got here, you would want it. So, Well, that's okay. I brought extras in my van. I'll bring that up too. What a friend. Casey, it's in the sex dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> it's under the sex swing. You have to lean over real good to find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now arch your back. All right. <laughs> All right. So you guys are. You, are... <laughs> you know what? I'll have water. It's fine. Did you just ask for wenches? <laughs> <laughs> We're back to D and D. Oh um, God, this is not right the mood here. that I was going for for this <laughs> game. But okay. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay, you so you guys on. are still in the condo itself, yes? Like yeah. everybody's in the condo. Right. And five minutes later, I mean, you do you do hear? Uh, no, actually, you'd be too far away. Five minutes later, let's all everybody can make another check, another logic check to see if you listen and hear this. You guys also can just press R, by the way. But this yeah. is more fun. Yeah. I'm not very logical. No, you are not. You do not know. You cannot I decipher the it. sounds that you hear. I am that, logical. That's... That is a fall. That is under my logic. Apparently. Okay. So what you hear outside is my voice. And I'm going, what the fuck? Get off me. I can't hear it because I'm eating chips. Probably. Yeah, you're eating chips and it's just muffling the sounds coming All through right, the I'm door. I'm going to get up. Burritos and... are crunchy. I'm going to get up and open the door and come see what's going on. And at the end of the hallway, I have just stepped off the elevator with the pizza boy on me trying to bite my hand off like we're struggling he's on top he is biting at me at my face okay. i'm gonna run over and i'm gonna be like dude that is you don't need to you know, i ordered a meat lovers not a meat lovers <laughs> delivery boy I, I, i'm like what the fuck is happening get off and he does not listen. He's going to continue attacking me. And let's see what I'm, he does. I'm going to come in behind Dave and jump kick his ass. So <laughs> let's uh, wait. So are you doing something? Because yeah. it's not the... Okay. I'm, I'm going to like kick I'll his I'll be at the and... door. I'll be at the door looking what's, what's all the commotion about. All right. Well, in this case, I guess we're <laughs> entering initiative. If I remember correctly, it's group initiative, right? So you guys it's all get to and... go, and then the enemy gets to go, right? All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we had to roll for initiative, if I remember correctly. Is that right? I, I <clears throat> not think so. It kind of, it's kind of like decided by circumstance, and uh, we well, get to decide you know whoever what? goes first. Right. Okay, you know what? Then in that case, I am going to let the pizza boy go first because this happened before any of you got out into the hallway, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. 
So Pizza Boy gets one positive dice because any test requires one. I'm going to give him, basically, he's already on top of me, so that's another positive dice for him. However, I'm scrappy. <laughs> so I'm going to add one of these dice, the negative dice, to him. Here we go. Pizza Boy actually does not manage to bite me. And I managed to, looks like, knee him in the groin for as much damage as that does to a, you know, um, a raging zombie. <laughs> go ahead. Now you can go, all three of you. So what do we roll for this again? So it right now you do. have no, you have no weapons on you right now. You're just using your fists, yes? Yeah. So you all get one positive die if you choose to attack. Okay. In fact, you just you always start off with one positive die no matter what, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can describe any kind of circumstances that would you believe enable you to get another positive die here. And then on my end, I get to like tell you why I am adding negative dice to your roll that might cause like um I don't know, some kind of pain or suffering or mental anguish in your case. Also, well, I it, mean, should, it should be noted that zero is just simple. There is no, if I give you no dice, it's simple. There is no reason for you to get stress whatsoever. If I give you one dice, it's considered to be easy. Two dice is hard. Three dice is really difficult. And four dice is almost impossible is how it's detailed in the book. So let's start off with you guys first. What are you guys going to do? And can you add more? And can you tell me why you should get more positive dice for whatever you're doing? Well, hearing Dave telling the guy to get off of you, me running in past him, I already have momentum. Okay, I'll give it to I you. Like, come to a like skidding stop with my foot out. Like, I could probably make pretty sweet connection with him. Okay. <clears throat> I would think that because there's multiple of us, you know, trying to do like a group grapple or something like that, you know, you have a better chance of like one of us can take one arm, one can take the other type type sort of situation. If you're um, going to help each other out, then you add positive dice to each other and you don't take a roll. So if Dave is helping Casey, Casey would do the roll and you would add another positive dice to Casey's roll in that case. And realistically, like I, I would probably be more opt to try to grapple in this situation rather than like punch the guy like i'm trying to prevent him from biting you rather than doing him damage okay um again i believe so, it's, yeah. it's actually up to you as well how you take your order like you guys can decide who goes first in your group and who goes second and who goes third so it's totally up to you who wants to go first right so i'll be helping someone Crash by doing people. that so yeah so i'll be i'll be going first i guess then okay delivering the swift kick of justice all right so you already have one more positive dice can you think yeah. of anything else that might tilt the um, table in your favor i'm wearing shoes <laughs> are they are they hard uh, steel toed okay. boots actually, actually yes i can show you what? the shoes that i do own Hold you on. own steel toed what why is he leaving <laughs> you own steel toed boots i mean technically i get. i have a pair of steel toed boots as well but i wouldn't have been wearing them <laughs> i well, would have been Taffy's in my socks. telling me that he's wearing steel toed boots <clears throat> i mean he's playing D D in would, your condo. Would the, <laughs> i mean i it may not be, be like the, the be fact that it's korea i used to only wear cats like this with steel toe tips i don't see anything you don't see my camera I don't see... now you and casey both dropped off for me that's oh, weird i can see I this is what happened one. to lawrence before well okay. uh, yeah. try uh, pressing I the video it. again it happened to me as well off earlier this there we go i just had to refresh it yeah, yeah you okay. have to refresh it i don't know why um discord is doing this weird. to us today but... i don't know yeah. yeah but before korea i literally only wore shoes like this they're steel toed like, boots? Yeah, like work work shoes, steel toe shoes. Uh, all right, so these I, are the shoes I came fine. to Korea with. Like, this is all I wore. 
Okay. And then when I, and as you run past me, I'm going to be like, why the fuck were you wearing shoes in my house? Uh, it's a cultural thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so the, the other positive, uh, another positive dice possibly, although I don't know if it matters, is like if this guy's focused on you, he doesn't see us coming. Like there's no defense. Like he doesn't, he's not going to, not that he cares and maybe it won't affect him, but I mean, it's like, he's a, he's more or less a stationary target. Okay. I will give you, well, first I'll give you the momentum thing. And then, uh, because I gave you the momentum thing, I'm going to add the steel boots to that one positive dice you have. Okay. And the, the not aware of your presence and focused on me I'll give you one more uh, positive dice. So you have three dice in your pool right now. And I think, basically, it's going to be hard for you to do this because you're going to have to avoid my head. Yeah. I'm in combat with it, right? Mm -hmm. And That's assuming we care about not hurting you. That's assuming that you care about not hurting me. Do you you not care about... (laughs) That's a big Um, assumption. I think I'd care a little. Okay. I would care. I would care. I'm going to say that this is a hard thing for you to do, just running straight past and kicking this whatever it might be in the head. Pizza man. Pizza, pizza man. Yeah, pizza boy. <laughs> Who still you has are his not bag, getting a tip. <laughs> so you can roll this right there. Okay, okay. Hopefully on your own. Okay. So uh, nothing gets canceled, actually. Right? No. Uh, this is a four, stretch. that's a one, that's a six. Yeah. That's a five and a two. So you get two stress from doing this physical. Mm. You do manage to succeed and do damage. Uh, basically, what you see is the pizza boy is kicked off me, right? Yeah. And his head just jerks back, and there's an imprint of his, your shoe basically on his forehead. Take that. Now, you didn't plan on doing this much damage. It's There's a literal dent that's going into his skull, basically, is what you see. I feel a bit sick right now. Okay, that's so gross. how would you I'm like to take the, the, physical, the physical trauma here, or the physical stress here from what you um... just did? Well, like punching someone in the face actually really hurts. I'd assume kicking someone in the head, like, you know, doesn't do like my foot or my ankle really much justice either. Right. So let's say you kind of, it, it twinged. You yeah. So it's like, your... Yeah. So like, I, it's a bit like, you know, unhappy and a little bit sprained. Right. A bit okay. Old maybe. But you're just going to let it mellow. You're fine. The yeah, surprising fine. thing is, even though after <laughs> Taffy has up. kicked it in the head and there's a visible dent in the guy's skull, he just, you didn't kick him off of me. Hmm. He basically goes right back to what he's doing. He kind of just, you kicked him so that he kind of fell back and then he just lurches back forward and continues biting at my head and my hands. Next. Oh, no. I'm looking for the baseball bat. <laughs> Do you know that there's a baseball bat in the condo somewhere? Dave would have shown it off. Been like, yeah. <laughs> in a, hey, in another can you walk up to my condo? Look at my cool baseball bat. bat. Here's, my baseball yeah. bat. <laughs> you know, those Here's the thing. That like, in high school, I did this in my sports. <laughs> yeah. When they showed up, I, I answered the door of the bat because I forgot you guys were coming. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yes. No, um, it's so me with I, a postman. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to, to be honest, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to try to grapple the guy. Like, I'm going to try to grab him from behind, and I'm going to attempt to, I see that I see that he's biting, so, like, I don't really want to get bit. So, like, I'm probably not going to do, like, a headlock, because he might bite my arm, but I'm going to try to, like, essentially grab him by the, the, the shoulder, back of the neck type thing, and try to, like, just keep him, essentially keep him from biting you at this point, more okay. than anything else. So this is like a grapple. You're not actually yeah. trying to hit him. No. Definitely physical, still dexterity. Um, you start off with one, as always. Mm. What would you like to add? How would you like to improve your chances, Dave? 
I'm gonna yell out and and be like, guys, help me pull this, pull him off. We'll just try to pin him to the ground. So I'm gonna try to get like basically if I can, if someone one of them can help, then one arm each type thing, and we can pull him off. Okay. Because if so... we can each take an arm and pull, two things will happen. One, we'll double the leverage, and two, if he doesn't have an arm, he can't hold on to you. So there's nothing really holding him. It's just strictly to his weight at that point. Yeah. Okay, so the only possible person who can do this right now is KC because Happy. he has not taken this oh. turn. Yes. Oh, right. Same turn. Okay. But I, right. Right. But I'm looking but, for a bat. Like yeah. If you, if you, if yeah, if you were going to go for a bat, then that's fine. So then, in that case, um, you can do it. <laughs> sorry, hours. I thought I thought this was the next turn. My bad. Um, right. Yeah. So at this point, I'm just going to try to hold him until the other people show up, or like I'll, I'm going to basically. So like I said, I grab around the kind of like around there and just trying to like yank him back so positives i mean honestly i don't really have any uh what a, do you have any positive traits that might help you at all i'm looking i mean i do have weightlifter as a trait so sure. i mean my my grip would help because i'm like I, you know being able to kind of like wait you actually have weightlifter as a trait yeah, yeah we, did that. Oh, okay. we did that. I I, yeah. I don't remember <laughs> because at so the time I actually was going to the gym. I know, right? I I only have my character sheet here. Right. At the time, not now. Um, I was I was you know I was then, going yeah, to the gym. Yeah, I would totally stuff, give so. you another positive dice for that positive trait. Go ahead. Uh, that's two so far. Anything else you can <clears> think of? What is the gym if not practice for picking heavy things up and putting them back down? Yeah. And right. you're not actually trying uh, to even pick him completely up. You're just trying to stop him from moving. Yeah, there, that's so. that's it. Um, I mean, I don't think it's going to make a difference because I was going to say, you know, during, while I'm doing this, I'm going to be trying to, like, talk the guy. But, I mean, it, it, he's I, it's not going to make a difference because of what he is. But I don't know that. You don't so, know like, that. <laughs> my, I, my other trait... Another trait I have is a negotiator, so I would be trying to tell him like what the f like trying to get him to talk basically. Right. But I don't that I don't think it's going to add anything in this case, but that's what I would be trying yeah. to do. So no, I will not add anything in that case. No, no. You're um, just trying to go behind him as he's attacking me, and you're trying to simply stop him from pretty much. Me. Yeah. So, and I mean, I'd be looking around, looking to see if I can find anything to, for leverage or anything. But I mean, there's nothing going to be around. So I'm going to make this easy because, and simply because you're you're going behind him and you're like wrapping your hand, like almost like a headlock. I'm imagining, right? Pretty much. Yeah. I'm just being very careful not to put my arm too close to his mouth. Cause right. So I'm going to make it easier than an actual, like, solid connection with the boot. So that's mm -hmm. your role right here, Dave. Two positive, right. one negative. What the what heck the was that? <laughs> there we go. Oops. Okay. Oh, well. So it looks like you got three, two, and one from what I'm seeing, right? They're all, uh -huh. are those all successes? Two successes? Uh, what am I rolling under? Dex. My dex is three, so yeah. Okay, and then you did not manage to get rid of this one negative die, so that's one stress for you. And how do you, sorry, how do you get rid of the negative die again? You have to, have to roll King. the same number. Um, yeah, and that's how it cancels out. Dice. Okay. So if yep. one of these blue dice had rolled a one, they would have canceled out and left you with one success here. Unfortunately, yep. that did not happen. Okay. So you're going to have to take one stress. Where is it coming from, Dave? It's a physical stress. It's a physical stress? Um, okay. It's uh, also minor. It's just one. Yeah, honestly, my, I, I would think that because I have a uh, uh, bad posture as a trait, I would think that as I as I kind of try to get his attempt, like trying to get him off of you. Uh -huh. uh, it's not like I'm planning this. It's just kind of a reactive thing. I'll, I'll say that I like kind of like pull a muscle, like uh, like kind of tweak a, a muscle in my back, my All lower right. back. Sure, that's fine. Uh, if any stresses that you get, of course, you need to write this down. And uh, you yeah. should, of course, role play whatever stress you got during the mm -hmm. game until you relieve that stress. Okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, I'll relieve that stress all over the place. <laughs> all over this uh, pizza boy. Get the cream yeah. sauce, garlic sauce. Yeah. 
for Thank Dave. You. Anyway, you Casey, it. your turn, man. Do I find the bat? I don't know. <laughs> um, did did do? You, how do you know that there's a bat in the condo in the first place? If it's not, right. the living, like if it's not in the person. living room, it's in the bedroom. Yeah, Here you go. Okay. The... Here's what the place looks like. I'm not gonna tell you where I kept it. Okay. You go in the front. You go in the door. There's a kitchen there. You have a hall closet right to the right side. Just a small like uh, double door slider thing. And then you have the sitting room. And then you have uh, the bedroom was beside it. And there was a closet in there. And then there was the bathroom and a small little den thing. Um, and then another door which was the laundry. But. It just looks like a linen closet door. So where would you have looked? I mean, I would have taken a. I we were playing at the sitting room. I was assuming. Correct. So yeah. I would, I would like got a feel of the of what it looks like. Like, if, do I see a baseball bat lying around there? If I no, and it wouldn't have been out. Yeah. If it, if it wasn't like it, in visual sight, I would have definitely ran into the the bedroom and opened up cool. everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not in there. So no, you don't find it. <laughs> so now I'm gonna. So my next Dave, turn is going into the laundry the room. Game master, don't say it's not there. <laughs> I know I should lie. <laughs> no, no. You realize Dave's as you run honest. in, it was sitting on the kitchen counter this whole time. No, he. You said it's not out, so it can't <laughs> no, be. No, it's not out. Although kitchen counter you know, has but... a couple of steak knives that you could easily pick up. By the way, it does. They're not baseball bats. Wow. I. I, I mean, I was trying to like. Beat someone up, but not stab the people. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, yeah. Casey's 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 a murder hobo in real life. He he wasn't like a murder hobo. I I don't know how bad it is. Pizza boy. Here's what you get for your late delivery. Pizza boy is violent. Bam. (laughs) Get God (laughs) son. Okay, so uh, now it is the pizza boy's turn again. Uh, Let's see. So again, he has one here. I'm going to add another one positive for a strength. He's actually strong. I'm going to make it the same roll, though. Again, he's on top of me still. Let's see. Um, okay. So what you do see, I guess Dave's behind the pizza boy. Actually, pizza I man. should have. I'm going to actually roll one more because Dave is behind him. There we go. And this is going to be hard. However, it does not. It only cancels oh, this be... out. These two are gone now. Uh, there's still one on more success you. here. And one stress for the um, for the zomb- or for the pizza boy. <laughs> we don't know it's a zombie yet. Anyway. Uh, Dave, He's a zombie? You see him from the back. I guess you just see him lean forward and attack. I'm not going to actually let you see what he actually does. So there you go. Your guys' turn. Actually, no. Taffy's in front, though, right? Taffy just yeah, kicked the zombie. I'm in front. Zomb- I would have seen this. You yeah. would have seen him. Okay, so he basically manages to get his teeth. And it looks like I'm wearing a puffy shirt or a puffy jacket. It's winter time, so you don't, don't know if he... want to be a he, pirate. You don't know if he manages to break skin or not, but you do definitely see him chomping down on my shoulder yeah so this is fucked so i'm gonna go first on our turn again okay and while dave's like trying to grapple him from behind i'm going to like with both hands like grab the hair on the back of his head and like pull him up ah okay (laughs) so again roll your dice okie dokie one for the not all uh, of it. <laughs> not all of it. No, no, no. One for the money, two for the one show. One for the thing. Okay, so basically, we're starting with one positive yeah. dice. Can we count that Dave's helping me on account yep. of his grapple? And grapple-ball? that means that Dave will not be able to act and do anything else this turn. Do mm-hmm. nothing. Dave's just helping you right yeah. now. That's my specialty, man. I got nothing. I got nothing covered. Okay. Um. Can you think of anything else that might improve your odds? Um, do, 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 do. His I mean, thirst one of for my blood fe- has been satiated. <laughs> one of my um, social features is I have a short temper. So, <laughs> so you're using anger, basically? Adre- adrenaline yeah, rush. It's, it's, adrenaline like anger, rush. it's like an anger-driven thing. I'll give it's it to you. I like trait, it. But I like that as a positive. Yeah, I like, like it. Like there's no regard for this guy's well-being uh, anymore. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, adrenaline, a total adrenaline rush. 
All right. So I'll give you three positive dice. You know He's, how like you know how you're, like you're just how... getting his head. You're just grabbing his hair and pulling, yeah. yanking back. That's yeah, gonna be like easy. Pulling him up. There should be. Yeah. There's no reason why it should be hard. There you go. I adapt that. I adapt this to like when when a when a mother can like lift a car to save her baby. Right. Yeah. You are that baby. <laughs> <laughs> I will save my baby. Okay. <laughs> and so, how did you do? I take another stress physically. Well, we'll just add it to the same injury that you had last time, basically. I, I guess because the one of the traits is sedentary, I'm just like a bit out of breath. Okay. And how many successes something. do you have here? Uh, Success-wise, for my offensive, uh, just one. Just one. Okay, I mean, you do succeed. You pull his hair back, but unfortunately for you... Ooh, baby you you eventually end with like his hair, head does jerk back but yeah. you find that you end up with like just a, a handful two handfuls of hair <laughs> basically <laughs> you just ripped all the hair off of this guy and he's just right back at it eventually i'm going to say i'm going to say well lawrence lived a good life uh, you know? casey no, your turn I, I don't know man no, I don't oh, I, so I'm in the I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, you're in the bathroom. I'm in the bathroom. I thought searching. you were in the Open bedroom the searching uh, right now. Yeah. Okay. After the bedroom is is the bathroom, right? Gonna, yeah, so there's the bathroom. There's a little door. It's not even a laundry room. It's literally just you open the door and there'd be a washer dryer, um, like one of those like well condo ones, the stacked ones, and then there's a the den isn't even a room. Like, it's just that... Uh, you remember that, right, Lawrence? It was yeah, just, yeah. like, a little, like, cutout. Um, it's almost like a cubby hole, basically. Yeah. But I didn't have, like... I had a desk in there. That's about it. And then... Um, yeah, and then the kitchen and then the front closet. So where are you going to next, Casey? God, what I'd give for a dryer in real life. Huh. <laughs> Casey, so where totally... are you going next? I think I, I think I, I think it was like blanked out like a couple of minutes ago. So totally oh. missed ex totally missed everything that. Oh, uh, sorry. C can you hear me now? Oh, shoot. Right, yeah, I can see you now. Uh, William's looking very weird now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's just him. That's, so yeah, that's just that's. <laughs> so basically, wonderful. after the bedroom, there's right. uh, the only stuff that you really can't see that's open would be the bathroom. Um, right kitchen like cupboards and the front hall closet right but the but i i, I didn't find it in the front hall bedroom. i didn't find it in the bedroom. no no, no you so didn't I'm find it in the bedroom i don't think you went through the front hall I, closet right no no all right you said you went you said you yeah. came in and, and looked in the living room right and then went yeah to the i looked in the living room and yeah. yeah then i went to the bedroom it's not in the bedroom so the only place i looked is the bathroom and the, and the and the closet, the front hall closet, you didn't look in either, I'm guessing. I uh, fear the man front? that keeps a baseball bat next to his shitter. The front closet? <laughs> what kind yeah, of like when you first go in the front door, there's like a, a, right. a closet there with jackets and Is stuff. That, was that closet big enough to fit a bat? I thought you said something was like a slider thing. Well, the bat's not very big, man. Well, I meant, I thought you meant sliding like it was like a... Vertical. Oh no no! Like the sliding doors, like you can open them like this, <laughs> like a like a horizontal slide, short space. No no no! Oh, it's right. like a full it's a full size closet. You just slide uh, the door open. Okay. Uh, all right, the doors. Okay, right. They're yeah, not the, coming back the, there. I think most like this was your um Asian furniture understanding. Yeah. So where, are yeah. you checking that then? Is that what you're saying? Is yeah, you're yeah, checking I'm the going back to the yeah? I'll go back to the front closet and open it up. But yeah. Basically, you see my... I'll just open it. I'll just open anything that I can. I I can imagine the bat fitting in there. Yeah. So the front hall closet, okay. you open it and you see my uh, my baseball bag with the bat attached, like stuck into the back. Congratulations! So sticking in. You found yeah, it. Okay. I grabbed it. Okay. Just to just to bring up some rules talk here. So there's minor action, major action, and I think the rules kind of assumes that you can move about twenty meters for speed in D and D terms. Right. So how so would I be able to like grab the bat and walk out of walk out to to them? 
I think the bedroom to the front hall closet was a short distance. You can go to the closet, find the bat, pick it up, pick, go yeah. out the door yeah. to the hallway, right. but yeah. that's the end of your turn. So I'll need to spend like the next turn to, to reach that. No, no, you, you, you're pretty much... Well, I mean, in the next turn, you can run forward and hit the pizza boy with the bat if you'd like. Yeah, like if we consider it like the same sort of thing, like six to ten seconds, yeah. One turn would be you could get from the bedroom to the front closet, open it and see the bat and kind of run out to the hall. Because, yeah. I mean, it, the co it's a condo in Toronto. It's like less than 600 square feet. Like, right. It's not that huge. So and then, yeah, the hallway wasn't that turn. long. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You'd be able to get yeah. that next turn. So okay. I'll, be out, I'll be out in the hallway. I'll be seeing these two guys struggling with the pizza boy. And I'm like, this, this pizza boy is going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my turn. Let's Zombie go goes again. Here we go. All right. Yeah, seen that Mel Gibson movie signs swing away. <laughs> yeah, um, that's the this end of the world thing. They have like by aliens, by robot, by gods. It, they've got this whole series of apocalypse things. We should do that hmm. next. So I'm going to roll these four dice. I'm going to say it's hard for the zombie to continue attacking me or and biting me. getting pretty hard. Yeah. He's on top of you for a while now. Yeah, he's been on top of me for a while. Thanks, Dave. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Roadhouse. Okay. <laughs> so these cancel. There's one five Toronto and one four. Okay. <laughs> Roadhouse. <laughs> you see uh, basically the pizza boy again like he's freed one of his arms and he's like clawing at my face with his hand what's wrong right? with this guy but uh i managed to dodge out of the way and he kind of snaps one of his fingers that, on the floor that's a limber head you've got on your shoulders i was lucky <laughs> <laughs> like no but he snaps one of his fingers on the floor is Good. what you saw basically wow what the fuck is wrong with this guy i'll yeah. keep breaking more okay next this, Go this ahead. bath this this bath salts uh, epidemic is ridiculous <laughs> My yeah God. who uh your guy's turn who wants to go i mean i don't want well, to do. be I mean... doing something <sighs> Casey, Good. will Batman be of, doing something? Because if Batman doesn't want to go, I mean, I'll be, I mean, I'll be, I'll be, walk, I'll be walking with them, like holding, like holding the bat, like flexing my fingers while I like, walk closer. Uh huh. Trying to get a clear shot if someone can get me one. Well, I mean, oh, he I'll, is. I'll get you one. <laughs> he is literally <laughs> on top of me. Uh, the only person you probably have to worry about is, I guess, Dave. Who is still yeah. behind him, straddling him? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. So if you can pull him <laughs> in the position of him being of, of the pizza boy being exactly in front of Dave, that uh, reduce the chance of hitting Dave. That would be like that would be a good, great position. Yeah. So here's otherwise the I'll just hit. I'll just hit the first organizer. Hey, Dave and I are going to add dice, and we're going to help you because instead of trying to pick him up, we've been missing yeah. the point this whole time. We can move him to the side <laughs> and yeah, just get him off. Yeah, we just because the whole idea is trying to push him off, and then we can like even just sit on him or stand on him to like hold him down at this point because yeah, he's not stopping. So Casey's gonna look at him and go, "I'm Casey," because <laughs> Batman. Yeah, yeah, Batman. yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, I got it. He's gonna crash down and be like, "Where is he?" Like, yeah. like bleeding. Where is the pizza? <laughs> Where is he? Uh, he's right there. Jesus. Okay, he's so right, Casey. Right next to you. So, you're starting so with one Dave, positive dice. Here you go. You, you yank him. I'll put my foot and <laughs> shunt him. Okay. Sure. So you're both adding blue can dice to this pool. Can someone roll for me? Because I think I think tabletop simulator is is killing is killing my connection. I've been dropping off all the time. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well, so far, actually, then can someone? Damn it. No. Um, okay. Roll. There's three yeah. dice here, right, Casey? Yeah. yeah. Can you can think of anything else that might add? Oh, no, actually. And you have your bat. Yeah, Dave, you roll. The bat. bat that's you. A bat, a what kind of, wait, wait, wait. So what kind of bat, bat is it, Dave? Is it a wooden bat or an aluminum bat? <laughs> it's an bat? aluminum bat. It's an aluminum bat. I will say yeah, that this bat. aluminum bat is not a... <sighs> what do they call it? It's not it? super like... heavy, but... Right. It's light. 
and it's actually not unwieldy like something that you might have made right so i'm gonna actually give you a positive dice for this bat in That's good you know, enough for me. is there <laughs> you don't want to die is there anything else that you can think of that might improve your chances here they uh, just you out for metagaming <laughs> Not, not for my, not for my positive features. And well, unless, do they give me the clear shot, or I'm just hitting something random? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the basically. Is, yeah, we're basically trying to like yeah. hold them off to the side, like right. push and them off to the side. Right, and blue positive so dice we're, we're for going to that. present his upper half to you. Okay, I'll give him the stomach. Because, you know, I don't want to give some. I don't want to give the guy a concussion. No, kill it. I mean, yeah. Dave gave him a drop kick, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Taffy did. Taffy did that. Oh, all right. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, we've already. If he, we don't know that he's a zombie. So the yeah, fact I that he's like, yeah, you know, we've already given him enough of a concussion. I'm gonna yeah. say, the two blue dice from basically Taffy and Dave will offset the fact that I'm giving you. I'm making it hard for you to actually hit okay, this guy. So I'm gonna roll the blue ones first, and then I'll roll the two green or uh, red ones. Just because they're not actually red. You could change so the there's, color. <laughs> there's the blue. I know, yeah. There's the blue. The hell is this? It looks like uh, I'll have to re-roll that one. Hold on. Oh, same same thing. thing. That got cancelled. You have a 5, a 4, and a 2, KC. How many successes eight, did you get? 8 and a 2? No, no. A 5, a 4, and a 2. Is what you got a five successes five four and twos well on the blue dexterity. dice there's a five four and a two how many right. rolled under your dexterity uh only the two so you got one success yeah okay and one stress then there's one stress die that's not been uh cancelled okay oh god i can do this here Oh yeah, he's dropped right out of a uh, tabletop. You still there, Casey? Yeah, I just got cut off. Okay, so what happened was you got one success, so you managed to, I guess, beat his stomach in. Uh, however, it cost you one stress, physical. Oh, one physical stress. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, swing the bat. <laughs> While you were swinging the bat, what happened? Oh geez, what's the freaking bomb connection? Can I, while this is happening, check on the pizza? Yeah, the pizza's basically in his like oh. the pizza boy has like a pouch, right? That he carries his pizza in. Um, it's still okay, in so there. It's staying warm through all this. Okay. Yeah, it's staying warm, <laughs> ready for you to like to uh, <laughs> to, to eat it Perfect. when you're done with this carnage. Oh, Amazing. I'm happy with that. Okay, looks hey like guys. Casey is not coming back anytime soon. Here we go. Hey, Case. Okay, Am so... I back? Oh, there oh he hi. Is. I can hear him. Hey, man. Did you uh, hear what I said about what happened? I, I heard one, one stress, physical stress. Yeah, one physical stress and one success is what you were left with. Okay. So you do hit him in the stomach, yes? All right, All right. And But this stresses you out physically somehow maybe i don't know it's it's yeah. tiring let's say no i just twist my back okay sure everybody's gotten <laughs> twisted backs from this nobody encounter. did their stretches we we're playing yeah, no one does stretches while you know doing drop picks and swinging yeah and plus yeah. we're all nerds so there we go <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah, all right remember the last time i had to suplex someone exactly <laughs> when's the last time you had to you know hit someone with a bat anyway about at least five years Thursday. The interesting <laughs> thing is, this time, the bat actually sinks into his stomach. You might not have wanted this to happen, but it's actually... It, it, there's rib cages basically sticking out of this poor fool. And yet, he continues to attack. What okay, can I... At this, can I... Can I... I just finished watching... I think this timing is about right. I'm just finished watching the uh, Walking Dead episode where Glenn was written off. Mm -hmm. And uh, can I just be like, give me the seal? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'm not actually going to do that. I I would be paranoid to actually do damage to this guy. But at this point, 
I mean, there are skull. there are bones sticking out of his ribs where he's Casey gonna, used the bat. Honestly, he's I'm just going to be like, guys, yeah. we just need to get this guy pinned to the ground. Like, we just need to, like, because I'm not going to be thinking realistically killing a guy. Like, I'm yeah. not going to be thinking that. No, I so know I'm where, like, I know where to hit next. <laughs> okay. So I'll be like, okay, I'm like, guys, we just need to get this guy pinned down. Like, let's, uh, and that's, uh, that's all I'm so, like. So here's I'm just going to keep trying we, to grapple. I mean, it's all yeah, I can do. No, here's what we do, right? We've shunted him off to the side. Casey's exposed his ribcage. What we could do is have you just, like, flop onto him, pin him uh, down yeah. with yourself, and I'll start pulling Lawrence out from underneath him. That's kind of what I'm thinking, yeah. Like, out, yeah. like, it's a matter of saving Lawrence more so than killing this guy. And if needs so, and if oh, need guys. Be, I'll pile on top of you. <laughs> Well, it's a fictional game. Yeah. Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All of us are not in the world. The crew of substandard gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for you guys, the zombie, or sorry, the pizza boy goes next. It's his turn. He is just going to basically try to push you guys off of him instead of oh. focus on attacking on me this time around. Uh, there's right. two of you. It's going to be hard. Focus has uh, been shifted. That's what we wanted. Yeah. So it's going to be hard. There's one positive die. He doesn't feel pain. Is the one die I'm going to put here. And then we'll just roll it like this. Okay. This is not a success. Two stresses. One success. Okay. Did those, so, does those not cancel out? Oh, these cancel out. Sorry. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so this is not, not a success. This is actually a stress for him. Right, so he tries to push you off him. He's like just moving his arms and trying to throw you. However, you're grabbing on tightly and stopping him, basically. So you're on both sides of his nice. arms, and he's just thrashing around and not, not able to get anywhere. So good on you. Next. My hero. Um, I'm going to... Wow. I don't even know. I'm trying to think if I would have anything in my room, in my place that we could like tie him up. Yeah, oh, and you don't have kinky handcuffs. I was just gonna say bedside table. Go get the handcuffs. <laughs> Pink feathers. <laughs> That's the um, least we'll have to explain today. Yeah. <laughs> um. So you guys are yeah, still struggling with him. Oh, you guys yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna start pulling Lawrence out. Oh, okay. Yeah, like my goal um, at this point is to just subdue him, like continue to try to hold him down and sitting yeah, okay. on him, sitting on his arms so that he has no leverage. Like ultimately, if I can like kind of like sit on his chest and kind of get my legs around his arms, so his arms are cut, stuck at his side. He will. He's not gonna have any leverage. Is the idea? Is I'm trying to take the leverage away from him. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, at this point, if I'm going to make William go first, and if William can actually succeed in pulling me out, then I'm going to say Dave probably can subdue him and stop him from moving. I'm going to end combat if Taffy can do this and pull me out from underneath him. So, I'll start with one. Yep. Two... Uh, well, he's already technically off you. He's not like grabbing onto you. He's not grabbing me. Yep. He's I'll just on top of you. And then. Power of friendship. No, that I'm not going to give you. <laughs> <laughs> the power of friendship compels you. I'm going to make this easy, though. I can't think of anything else. Yeah. Oh, good. That cancels out. I was about to take trauma from this event. <laughs> and it succeeded. And it succeeded. Okay, so I'm going to stop. having an internal struggle whether or there. not you should actually help him. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Taffy manages to pull me from out from under the, uh, the pizza boy. And Dave is basically stuck on top of the pizza boy, holding him down. There's no combat going on right now, but what are you going to do? <laughs> Scream at him, say my name! <laughs> uh, and he responds by just going, 
Martha! I'm like, oh shit, this guy's mean. This dude, something's wrong with this guy, man. Yeah. Now, if guy. I'm being honest with you, you guys, by the way, know what zombies are. <laughs> I'm yeah, not, like, are I, they a not, real thing? We're not in a I, world. I mean, no, no. We're not in a world where there have never been any zombie movies zombie like movies. some. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we're in, like, but we're in a world I, where zombies aren't in terms of in a, far You're in a world that we've zombies. never actually seen a real zombie, but we have okay. seen zombies in we've movies seen, before. We've seen movies, but they're not real. Zombies are not real. Right. Yeah. And honestly, fucking nuts. And this is weird. Yeah. And and I hate to tell you, I hate to say this, and I but it's true. If I see this, I mean we're in Toronto. There's a, there like I there is there's a lot of out there. Well, there's a lot <laughs> of people who live on the street who are mentally ill, and and I'm probably thinking like I'm not going to want to do damage because I'm thinking that this guy is uh is is struggling with something like a mentally ill like he's mentally ill like that's what I'm thinking. Right. Um. So I'm still not at a point where I'm like, oh, it's a zombie. They are real. Like I'm not thinking that. Like I'm thinking this is just someone who's t who's like tweaking out. Okay, that's fine. Uh, um, uh, the st the question still remains. What are you gonna do? You have a zom zombie or the pizza boy pinned to the ground, who's still thrashing, not able to get up because he doesn't have like. Is anyone coming out of their condos off. yet with all this commotion? Um, like a f maybe now that basically the yelling is over the, the the pizza boy is still like screaming kind of in that yeah so if, if someone way. has this yeah if someone has poked their head out i'm gonna say hey can someone try it else try calling the the cops here or, or something or if anyone has some rope or something like this is this guy's going nuts okay so having said and if there's that, not anyone i'll just kind of yell out trying to get someone's attention I'll be like hey guys someone anyone here now I'm going to be making, you know, your neighbors up. Who knows if you actually had these neighbors or not, but you know, like right next to you, the next door neighbor opens up her um door yeah, and her. she peeks out. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yep. <sighs> nice. She's <laughs> <laughs> nice. She's African American. She's got a yellow dress on. She peeks out. You remember her name as Camilla, I think. You've introduced her yourself to her once because you know she's hot. So, <laughs> what I do? Yeah, it's what you do. <laughs> anyway, um, she she peeks out the door and says, "What's going on? Why? What are you guys doing?" Like I, I this guy, my buddy just got here, came off the elevator, and this guy just started trying to bite him. I don't. So we're just trying to hold him down. We finally got him subdued a bit, but like this guy, this guy's going going crazy. Like, I, I, can you see if you can get through to the cops? I was trying to call nine one one earlier, and I, I just was getting a busy signal, and like I couldn't get through. She seems worried, and she tells you, I, "I'm not able to get through to anybody. I I heard the explosion too. I called my parents, but the like no one's picking up. What the hell's happening here? Jesus. Um." do you have anything do you have any rope or anything yeah. or or you know do you want to do the handcuffs that we used the other night like anything Can she we, looks uh... at you and says what <laughs> i'm kidding but do you have anything i probably would still be making those jokes so let's be honest yeah yeah yeah. Um, you probably would be but do you have anything to like to help like kind of tie this guy up until like he's not stopping we need to subdue this guy so that we can um, figure out what's happening here she looks at you and says rope no why you would i camp? keep wh no why would i keep like <laughs> industrial grade or you know construction rope in my apartment i've got it doesn't like doesn't have to be construction I've rope got it could basically, be basically i've got i i i've got like the the thread that you use to uh <laughs> you know to i don't know men clothes seems, and shit she's a seamstress <laughs> okay um that's fine i'm just thinking of like some people have camping rope or, or tarp rope. That's fine. Um, okay. Well, I'll just keep sitting on them. Um, could we get like, <laughs> could we use like thick clothing? Uh, like, yeah, like tape when, or I mean, what? when you say, yeah. say like, I have, clothing, I have, I, mean, I have ties she, and like, a, she like, feels reluctant, but she could give you like a thick blanket that's, she doesn't, her... she doesn't want to. Like, those I are mean... nice blankets, but. <laughs> Uh, you know I, what? I, I want one of her belts or something. 
Yeah, can you, actually, yeah. she says, yeah, okay, I can get you a, yeah. like, she rushes in and... Give me that one you're wearing right now. What? <laughs> she looks at you and says, She goes into the room and pulls she out closes out. the What's door. She goes into the back of the room and pulls out a Dave's belt. So yeah. she kind of <laughs> drops a couple of belts, or she actually hands the belts, like three of them, to Casey and then goes into her door and closes it. <laughs> She's had Smart enough woman. of like these guys hitting on her and you know making inappropriate oh, okay. jokes while they're sitting on someone who's bleeding. <laughs> hey, so don't while, so, while, so while I tie up the pizza boy, I'm just I'm just asking myself, why does she have three belts? Right. <laughs> yeah, what guys would never of... have three belts. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. What kind of collection does she have? <laughs> um. Again, everybody make, I guess, uh, logic checks. Yeah. I win. What did you get? <laughs> One. One. Ooh. While Casey is uh, tying up the zombie. I'm just going to oh, say it now. It's a zombie. Anyway, while Casey yeah. is tying up the zombie, you notice mm -hmm. that mm, there's blood on my jacket. Oh no, I shall inspect you. With my and logic. I kind of slap your hand away. What are you doing, man? Fuck. I'm I'm feeling you up, obviously. God damn it, I'm, Taffy, not now. I'm aroused. <laughs> I'm aroused. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, stop being a fucking idiot and open your jacket. Okay. And, like, uh, I take off my jacket and the blood is the blood coming, coming from? from my shoulder so his yeah. teeth did get through i'm going to say dave first aid kit but he's a bachelor so he probably doesn't have one i don't think i did i'm trying to well i have basic stuff but i yeah i'll be like okay i have like i do have because i used to scrape up my knee and stuff playing baseball so i have like peroxide or i have gauze i have yeah uh, right i'd hate to have to like pour vinegar on the bite <laughs> no no yeah i'll be like okay the bathroom underneath the, the sink i have uh i have a whole bunch of stuff there like peroxide okay. large like gauze large bandages stuff oh like that. then i'm gonna pull you to the bathroom lords okay so i'll say god damn it what the fuck been away from toronto for like three years <laughs> and this is what i come back to jesus christ yeah. or did you bring this i mean oh you... i don't know yeah did you quarantine after you got your COVID test? Maybe it's not a China virus. Maybe it's a Korea virus. Mm, COVID oh. did not happen in this world. <laughs> no, I know. What a anyway, okay, so <laughs> Taffy's yeah. bringing me into the condo. What are you two doing as Casey ties up the 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 zombie on the floor? Well, I'm. What are? Oh. Like I'm oh. just sitting on him until we have him, dude. Like I'm. I, I mean, finally, we finally have him controlled. Right, so. you have him I mean, so are we dude, leave him in the corridor. What do you mean? Yeah, what are you gonna do after you've tied him up with the belts? Yeah. Okay, well, one of us is gonna stay with him. Um, that could be me. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would logically it would be you. I'd run but back in because I know where stuff is in my condo. Yeah. Um, so then well, I'll I'll run in and Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, I'll run in and try to. Uh, honestly, I try to call nine one one again, or I try to. Uh, look up the the number for the hospital, and then dot, see if I can get through the hospital directly. All the phone lines are down. You can't actually call, or, or they're just too busy, basically, right? So everything's swamped, so you can't actually get through. However, an emergency alert. I think it's called like what? Uh, an alert ready, right? In yeah, Toronto or something. On the TVs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 It starts ringing on your cell phone, basically. And when you take a look at it, it says yep. unknown virus spreading through Toronto and surrounding areas. Citizens are advised to stay inside and lock their doors until um, further notice. And this keeps just ringing, basically. Okay, can, can I, I'm going to try to call my sister. Okay. Can I get through to her? No. What phone happened? lines are busy. Yeah, phone lines are all busy. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like the places I was calling were busy. Okay. 
Sorry. Like it, it's jammed. I mean, like the service is probably down because so many people are. You know what I'm saying? Sure. Like it's just yeah, jammed. Yeah, like you try to call and it just goes. Bah, For sure. I thought. I just thought you meant like we were trying to call a place and they they were just being bombarded with calls. Is what I thought you meant. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'm gonna. I it does the same sort of thing if for texting or like if I try to text. Like, do I see, do I see a network signal on my phone? You do see a network signal on your phone. Texting. All right, might, I'm. You haven't tried yet. It might go through. Yeah, I'm gonna send a text to my my sister and brother in law because my brother in law works for Toronto Hydro, and I'm gonna ask if he's heard anything about because he he would have gotten calls about if it was like a, an electrical explosion or something like that and letting them know in case they haven't heard already if it hasn't spread that far just kind of saying something's something fucked up down here um getting alerts about a virus there's explosions you know stay inside keep safe and if you heard anything when you do send that message um your brother-in-law does respond with a text message he says that everybody is fine Where's your brother-in-law anyway? Is he in Pickering or Ajax or where? They're in Curtis. So. Okay. So basically, so, a little further east, yeah. Right. So past far, Oshawa. We've like they they basically in a text message they're sending you like we're hearing about this too. Uh, mm -hmm. So far, the virus has not spread as far as Curtis. That's in the east, right? Correct. It it's just west? past Oshawa. All right. Oh, okay. So yeah, it hasn't spread this far yet. Uh, however, we've been told to just stay at home. Same thing. Stay at home, lock doors, okay. and wait. What are you guys going to do, do, guys? <laughs> I don't know what to do, guys. Um, well, I mean, we're going to tend to you, obviously. But yeah, well, I'm still like, I'm... I'm like trying to stop Lawrence from bleeding and getting infected. Okay, well let's um let's roll that. Do you have any kind of first aid <laughs> experience? Um, yes and no, not what? trained, but I kind of know. Okay, well again, we'll make I, it. I volunteered uh... for the um that NSRI, the sea rescue people, for a little bit. Okay, sure. So I got some stuff with them. It's a logic rule, obviously. You have to figure out what oh, to yeah. do. Um, you start with one die, of course, one positive die. So go ahead. Sure. And then you can add another positive die because of your real-world experience. <laughs> I do have some real-world experience. Do you have anything else that you can add to um, this? Not really, I guess. Okay. Um, I'm going to add one because you actually have the first aid kit. Well, yeah, yeah, we do actually have stuff to use. Yeah, you actually have the bandages and the peroxide yeah. and all that to use, right? Wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um No, actually I'm ac it it should it should be simple. I'm not going to actually add stress dye to this. Yeah, it should be relatively Yeah, you're simple. you're seeing like, it's not like you're seeing like, uh, you know, blood and guts pouring out of me. You're just seeing like um Teeth yeah, it's marks nothing and to like, blood coming out. Yeah, it's so. nothing too like nauseating. Right, it's not yeah. too nauseating. Yeah, but oh. I suppose the only difficult thing is that it would be stinging a lot for you. Right, but that's okay. I mean, <laughs> if you're taking the class, it should be something you've seen before. Mm -hmm. Um, I have this is logic you say. All three success. Okay, so you managed to stop the bleeding and bandage the area pretty well. Yeah. Um. But I'm assuming I'd have to have, like... I'm sure Dave probably had, like, duct tape or something. I've probably taped gauze to mm -hmm. you. Sure. I yeah, do. Okay. <laughs> I, had, I had medical tape as well as duct tape. Okay, sure. That would have taped the gauze on you. Okay. As a point of nice realism. So as far as you know, I'm fine. Cool. And we still hear, basically, Casey and Dave arguing outside about what to do with the zombie. Casey, your thoughts. What are you going to do here, man? You're still we, sitting on the zombie. Are we, are you, yeah, I'm pretty much sitting on the zombie. I'm like thinking, like, this whole virus thing and crazy pizza boy. Like, if this is Toronto Saturday, that's a really weird Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Every third Saturday of the month, I'll tell you. It's what, just... a, what a strange country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. not accustomed to this culture. So what I'm going to do since I'm part of the game now is I'm gonna say what the fuck's going on and then I'm gonna turn on the TV, basically. Oh. I'm gonna look for a news channel is what I'm gonna do. 
Good call. Like, dude, I haven't had cable in four years. Like, you want to watch some Netflix? Yeah, see if he's like plugged into a laptop. No, no I, I have. I actually did have when I was there. I had like basic cable. Right. Like, so we're gonna turn uh, turn the channels until we find a basic news channel. Did you pay your TV license? Yes. Yes. Eventually, uh, we do find one. However, it's not actually reporting on the explosion that occurred. It's not really reporting on the virus. There's a reporter standing in the stands of the Rogers Center, uh, which is a stadium, a baseball stadium. And behind her, frantic Blue Jays fans are actually rushing out of the exits, stampeding and stepping on each other to get out. You can't get a look at their individual faces, but as a whole, as a whole, the crowd just emits a frenzied panic aura. Just as the reporter turns from the camera to look behind her, a disheveled burly man wearing a torn Blue Jays jersey lurches onto her and using his teeth rips into her neck. Uh, the man... <gasps> It's very jarring, but the man himself, it looks like that he's actually missing like the left side of his face. It's been just ripped off. And you can see the the bone and the blood just gushing, the ears <clears throat> gone, and like it's just like just someone tore off the skin, the flesh from the left side. But it doesn't seem to phase him as he's digging into the reporter. Um she screams for help, man. of course, Needs. but <laughs> that is steadfast and resolute. I capture news. Uh, uh, she screams for help, but the camera quickly jolts to the left. It's like this: the cameraman is just booking it. He's like turning. Uh, he's like, and the camera is bobbing as he runs towards the exit. Eventually, he drops the camera. And you are left with a sideways view of multiple feet just rushing out the exits while people are actually being trampled underneath them. So you can actually see people being like stepped on as this whole crowd rushes out. And then after you see other disgusting looking kind of ripped up people just running and lurching after them. And then the cable just cuts out there uh, to the the anchor, basically, back at CBS News. And basically, he's saying, uh, actually, he doesn't know what to say. He's like, you know how like newspaper reporter or like TV news anchors are supposed to be calm and, you know, just all the time, no able, like, know what to say. This is not him. He's like going frantic and he's going, what do I do now? And he's looking at the, uh, someone off camera basically before the entire channel just Geet! like goes to black and like says technical difficulties, please. We'll be back in a second or whatever comes up. Right. <clears throat> so I'm going to open the sliding door, which is right next to that. And I'm going to look out and I don't face the sky dome, but I face the ACC which right yep so if people are rushing out i would be seeing people because it would be i also look at union station so i mean if anyone's running they'd probably be running that way a lot of them seeing if they could get out of the city oh yeah so i'm going to look out to see if this is some sort of like a weird hoax or if i see the same thing downstairs oh yeah you are definitely seeing it, it it's it seems like uh you being a baseball fan i think uh, especially toronto blue jays right you'd know that yeah. Winterfest is actually on at this point in time. Yeah. So these look like all the fans that were at Winterfest and they're just rushing out and you see an onrush of blue, basically uh, dark blue. Now that the sky, uh, the sun has, I, I would say it's around six o'clock. So the sun might be really low and it's setting, but you can s still make out the colors blue and red now with the blood smeared all over their uniforms. Uh, at this point, I I'm gonna be starting to think zombie, yeah, <laughs> but I'm now but I'm... you're thinking zombie. <laughs> okay. Well, 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 it's still it's not something I would believe in, but I'm thinking yeah, like not something you could come to terms with very quickly. Yeah, like I'm thinking definitely. zombie, but I'm also thinking like flash mob. Like I'm thinking this is some sort of people who are fucking around with like someone who's trying to play this really really crazy joke. However, I saw. 
like I, I at this point I'm like I honestly think it's I'm thinking like fuck, this is like there's a group of people that are just taking this joke like too far or they 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 or a cult of some sort that took bad drugs that are like like acting out what they saw on TV yeah. type thing. It's but like regardless, you actually it, told me that there were zombies on the train to Busan. Yeah, so like I'm not I'm definitely not minimizing how serious this is. But I also don't. I'm not thinking. I'm like, oh, this is definitely zombie. Like, I, I yes, it's crossing my mind. But I'm trying to rationalize it with my logic. Like as brain. any sane person would do. Yeah. It's like this can't yeah. possibly be happening. This is like but this, seeing this what's is not happening. Real. This is some elaborate hoax. Yeah, seeing what's happening. I'm gonna I'm gonna run to the hall and be like, Casey, get in here. Just leave the guy. Let's get in here. And I'm gonna try to because we need to protect ourselves. Um, given what's going on downstairs, I don't want to suggest we go downstairs. Because they're going to be people are going to be trying to bust into every building they can. At this point, we need to barricade ourselves and be safe right. until we figure something else out. So I'm going to be like, just leave them there and get in here. So I hear the word barricade. I hear the word, don't go downstairs. I pick up the baseball bat beside me. I start running towards the door. Then I remember he said barricade. I turn around, pick up the two pizza boxes, and go back in. <laughs> my awesome. man yes that's right pick up my the pizza man. okay my so man. yeah you go inside uh you slam the door there is a zombie that is basically um tied up with tied up. three belts in the hallway uh yeah. dave as you're actually on the balcony still looking towards the um the rogers center you still notice that there is still that cop car basically that smashed into the light pole it's still there yeah and i assume it nobody would be. I assume... nobody has come not a single ambulance has come this way and no other cop cars have actually come this way to check up on this guy <laughs> um and if when you look down it's weird the people on this, there are people on the street, but they're kind of moving. No, they're kind of just almost standing there, like kind of wandering aimlessly. It's really oh, weird. Weird. Um, and the, lots of people, by the way, not just one. Okay, I'm. <laughs> I am going to take a quick video for proof, for video evidence, in case I need to show someone this. Okay. And I'm going to using your phone. Yep. Okay. Uh, what, are you, what are you what are you gonna take a video of? Exactly. I'm literally gonna start taking a video of the crowd. I'm gonna zoom in to see if I can see like any of this like people missing half their face or just trying to so I can get a better idea of what's happening and that way I can send it to people or have reference if, if like and then I then I would send it off to my <clears throat> brother in law or whatever in case he can reach Toronto Hydro or like have other contacts. So like I'm like this is what we're seeing down here. Send it off. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, when you do zoom in using the camera on your iPhone, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, yep. These people. My BlackBerry. Not yeah, that sure. <laughs> these people are, um, well, some of them are missing limbs. Some of them are missing, yeah. missing, you know, some of them are definitely missing like pieces of their, their limbs, bodies, everything just gone. Uh, some of them are lurching because they no longer have a foot. But anyway, yeah. you got the picture. Yeah, and that's the sort of stuff that I'm trying to, speaking of getting the picture, trying to get on video just in case I need to try to explain what's happening to anyone. I can I can just, I have it. I have a, I have a record of it. Right, okay. So um, while Dave's outside doing this, what do you guys, uh, Casey just ran through into the condo and Taffy, you just patched me up any other things that you guys are going to be doing um i'll probably just be trying to like text people back home be like holy shit you won't believe what happened toronto's awesome <laughs> <laughs> okay so the internet is still up barely it takes actually a long time to get like you wait it's definitely longer than you know what your usual wait is there must be something going on with internet maybe there's less connections available for you or something's wrong with it but you eventually do manage to get through to who are you texting or who are you trying to reach 
exactly? Um, probably be texting like a group chat that I'm in. Okay. Um, when you actually, actually, when you take a look at your group chat, now that you, you know, now that things are quiet and you're finally sane again, right? Yeah. You see that the group chat has actually started blowing up. Okay. And the pictures that Dave's actually videotaping, or the video that Dave is taking right now, mm -hmm. uh, other people have had the same idea. And even in Africa, there there's pictures of these people that have been popping up on your group chat and like people like asking each other if they're okay and if, you know. Uh, like, we told people not to take the muti. <laughs> Casey, anybody you would like to contact, I guess, since this is what everybody's doing right now? Yeah. I guess I'll just like, yeah, I'll just flip on, flip on my WhatsApp or Facebook. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing, okay. I'm guessing I'm seeing the same thing. You're seeing the same thing. Yeah, definitely. the same thing. Yeah. Um, Given although... the fact that now we know it's worldwide, this is a different... Uh... Worldwide. Now we'll call it out on that. We'll just say, like, this is happening everywhere. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. Everywhere, all at once, it just happened. Kind of like how COVID just kind of, <laughs> kind of spread everywhere. Not all yeah, at once, but definitely spread but everywhere. It did just kind of. This happen. is all at once. <laughs> so that's um, what you think. Anyway, <laughs> honestly, at this point, seeing that now that we know it's like worldwide and it's like it's not just here, like something is happening. <clears throat> um. Although, I genuinely like, one thing no, um yeah. when you do go on to Facebook and your chat it's for now it seems like it's localized just like this has been localized in Toronto and yeah. it hasn't reached Curtis yet or Oshawa in yeah. your native like your countries basically it's localized in a city that has that airport basically it has an international airport usually mm. okay? okay and uh you're if you're talking to people on like whatever chat sns device you have oh, yeah, they're, people they're like who are further mean. away from that international airport are still going like what's going on why is yeah, everybody absolutely on my um phone it would be like Fifi would be Fifi or my dad would be messaging me because they're pretty close to the airport there. Right, or saying like, uh, "Stay inside, don't get out." Um, like, yeah, It'll God bless like us that. all, that kind of thing. Yeah, basically, be like, "Oh no!" Lots of panic, lots of mixed emotions. Cool. Mm. All right. So, how? What are you gonna do now? Are you gonna barricade the door? Are you gonna do anything else this day? So I'm gonna continue playing D and D. Honestly, I think at this point I'm gonna we're so the door is gonna be locked. So one thing with the condo, the one nice thing is that the doors were I don't know if you call them fire. I guess they're called them fire doors. They're heavy duty, heavy. um. So they are really solid, um, and they have dead bolts and stuff like that. So like it's a good good security in that sense. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna run over make sure that the balconies are locked. But okay. I'm going to keep the blinds. So I'm going to draw the blinds shut, mm -hmm. but keep them kind of like, like at a slight angle so we can see out if we need to. Cause like the idea is like, I want to make sure no one, you know, tries to climb around from like another balcony or something like that, just to make sure, like, I really want to try to make sure. So in the um, balcony, the saying, like the, the, you had a clear balcony. It was like all windows, wasn't it? Basically. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, so if anybody uh, I, really wanted to, they could take a bat and break. Your... Absolutely, that's okay. that's the thing. So I'm going to take the uh, it spanned the the living room and the bedroom, the balcony. So I'm going to move the couch right up against the living room one. Okay. Um, and then in the bedroom, I'm gonna I'm gonna basically uh like push the bed and, and shift the bed over so it's in front of the window so if something does happen we'll hear the bre shut the, the glass and then we'll have a little bit of time while they try to climb over or whatever and then the next thing i think i would do is is kind of take a quick stock of like to get an idea of our situation like how long we can stay in here so like 
quickly got like kind of like look through the pantry like at this point i'm like i fuck i don't know what's happening and this is clearly not just here um so i'm going to be starting to think about sustainability so that um i'm going to take take out like pots or anything i could think of and start filling them with water like this is i i genuinely think this is what i would do if if like if i think that at this point shit's happening mm-hmm. uh, i'm also going to plug in my phone and take whatever power I can before losing power. How many chargers do you have? Uh, I would have had two. I had one in my bedroom and I had one in the living room. Okay. So you guys, the rest of you, uh, you're seeing Dave doing all of this, moving around, shuffling, uh, moving the couch against the uh, the balcony glass. Um, They're just having a drink. Charging his phone, time. getting water basically filling up pots you guys want to chip in or what do you guys want to do <laughs> I would like at this point it. my logic at this point even though i'm anxious my logic brain is like firing off saying okay what do we need and i'm trying to like check off these things that i think because i mean need. i would be speculating out loud that this is like some kind of terrorist thing or china's finally gone and done it <laughs> that's what i'm thinking like i'm still thinking terrorist or even whether it be domestic or 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 international, like uh, like I'm still thinking rationally. Yeah, yeah this, maybe is like, like this is like a bio virus or some yeah, kind of like chemical power, weapon. Like, I would be like full conspiracy. Like this is government shit. Some government is. Yeah, it's either that. I'm thinking it's either that or like I say, some sort of like a cult. But the fact that it's like like almost a religion, but less so a cult now that I know it's worldwide. But like, the, so now I'm thinking more terrorists. Yeah, like some some sort of like well planned. They're striking multiple yeah, like places across the Bell global. Bill Zoe's cracked the code and he's made a virus. Something, yeah. It's definitely Bill Gates. <laughs> they microchips. Uh... <laughs> Why would you want a microchip? Chips are delicious. Get bigger chips. Uh, all right. So you're just you're you're sitting there. William, you're you're sitting there in the middle of the condo, just in shock, just saying, "Oh, it's it's the government, yeah, man! It's like, it, it's got to be the government." They like, they did some kind of terrorist thing. This is in Canada. This is in South Africa. This is everywhere. They're trying to kill us all. It's a virus yeah. of some kind. China's gone and done it. Okay, so that's <laughs> yeah. what he's doing while Dave's like moving around and doing all of this, the, uh, like <laughs> the getting ready for survival. Like, Get it together, man. man. Mentally, one of my negative features is prone to distraction. Okay, and Casey, this is these two things are happening in the condo with you right now. What are you doing? I I have a negative trip for compulsion, so I'm actually like reading all the signs and looking up the internet and looking up. I'm like connecting all the dots together and try to start up the you know those those conspiracy walls. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, with all is the red a... string. So, yeah, with all the um, strings, I say explosion in explosion down there. Okay. Union Union Stadium, uh, Roger State Center has a weird thing going, has a flash mob going on. Crazy pizza guys, uh, <laughs> you know, all these dots. Yeah, and I'm like thinking like, this can only mean one thing, man. Zombies. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so so it knows it's gonna sound crazy, but the evidence is right in the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in the pizza in this case. Yeah, it's right there in front of us. <laughs> the proof is in the pizza. Okay, yeah. so you're going on all these websites, basically, is what you're saying? Yeah. And, yeah, like, posting is what you're doing yeah, right I'm like, now. I'm, like, I'm not even collecting all the... I'm, like, going on YouTube and getting all the video links. <laughs> <laughs> yes. First thing when yeah. uh, Apocalypse happens is go on to YouTube and film it and yeah, <laughs> record exactly. it and yeah. put it up. Well, I mean, the internet <laughs> has if information. If you're first on a topic, oh, you yeah. are Imagine confused. the views you're going to hit. Yeah. Don't forget <laughs> yeah. to check out Substan- Don't forget to check out Substandard Zombie Apocalypse. Uh, yeah, <laughs> great. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to count that as crazy co-host <laughs> making zombie op- zombie conspiracies. I'm going to count this as show, research, right? yeah. basically, is what you're doing. You're going on different yes. websites, and you're kind of seeing what the okay. state yeah. of the world That's... is like. Yeah. So from what you've gathered after... Which would like... make it a race thing. <laughs> what? I'm just, I'm just saying now. I'm not that's not even up for like debate. This is, might be a fantasy yeah. game, but Twitter would absolutely make it a race thing. Uh, immediately. 100%, yeah. 
Well, I mean, I'm going to go with you, everything that happens is, for the spread of, of COVID inequality. pretty much is happening right now. Like, there are rumors that it started in China, that they've developed it. There are rumors that actually it happened in the United States first. Every Every country is, like, being hit. I'm going to say even, like, no, it wouldn't be. Like there, there's mention of Wuhan, basically, right? Uh, the Nazis have come out of hiding in Argentina. North Korea is saying, "Oh, we don't have it. There's no problem." <laughs> so North yeah. Korea, like, yeah. We don't know what's wrong with all of you. It's, yeah. it's that hip hop and those blue jeans of yours. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> that amazing. Western culture. Yeah. So, um, yeah, you can see that it's actually like. You 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 know what to ex you know exactly what I'm talking about because like pretty much how COVID spread and how the internet dealt with COVID spreading is how internet is dealing with this spreading. I need Gloria yeah. to come and karate chop all of these things. The the first thing that they're doing is placing blame on each other is what they're doing and trying to find like yeah. the fall guy. It's a Republicans fault. Actually, at this point in time, Donald Trump would still be the president, wouldn't he? So he's mm -hmm. going, no, oh, there's mm. no virus. What are you talking oh. about? It'll be fine. We'll, we're <laughs> we're getting our you know scientists. Oh, I see and, I see <laughs> you want me to help you with this? The uh... China virus. <laughs> you want me to? If yeah, I don't have my I don't have my face filters on, guys. Sorry. For us. That's oh, okay. <laughs> but I can be. I can I can try this. I can yeah. do. Um... Do do Trumpy. It's a... <laughs> it could be like uh, you turn on the yeah the TV and it's like listen. It's absolutely fine, okay? I've asked all my experts, and they all said the same thing. They said, Trump, this is, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. So this is definitely down from Mexico. Came from Mexico. The wall will protect us. It's fine. It's totally fine. And anyone who happens to get it, just drink some bleach. It, it's not a problem. <laughs> Man, can we, this um, is can we so just... good, I actually want to punch you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, like, let's... Like, you know, sometimes when it gets hot, you know, viruses, they don't die. So could we just maybe, can we look into that? Can we look into that? Yeah. Can we, can we, just can we maybe, look into global cooling? Can we just look into, yeah. can we look into maybe just injecting something right like, into the, like, no, like, no, that's a bad idea. Air, air okay. Well, listen, we're going to we'll we'll look into it. We're going to look into it. Keep it cool. <laughs> We're It'll be gone through. by summer, you know. Summer just, you yeah. know, summer's yeah. no, daylight. No, Sunlight's bad no, for no, viruses. No, It'll be okay. Why? It's a beautiful <laughs> exactly. time of year. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's absolutely the best time of year. It's the time of rebirth. Everyone's we'll saying it. Everyone's saying it. Everyone's uh, everyone's saying the same thing. I was a man, woman, camera, TV. Uh, <laughs> excellent okay so yeah you see that on tv and as you're flipping through the channels eventually catch one of a news broadcast where trump's actually doing um i can't believe yeah. this guy got voted in jesus well you know <laughs> no comment here i'm gonna oh, keep going on well no, that's what i say in not... real life i'm like i can't believe i still can't believe this guy yeah um, in game and real life yes anyway so um, um yeah. What I'm going to leave you with today is that as Dave is running around his condo trying to think of ways to, you know, better prep uh, you guys to survive, and while Casey is doing his research, and while Taffy is going nuts in the middle of the condo, <laughs> um, I actually start coughing up blood, and I start getting a fever and i have to lie down on the couch i'm gonna start thinking about putting you in that closet with the bat <laughs> anyway that's how i'm going to end tonight's episode <laughs> so <laughs> i hope you guys had fun um yeah that was yeah uh... yeah you know beating up pizza boys yeah cool <laughs> <laughs> Great. So if you guys have been watching the playthrough, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We will see you later. Bye-bye.